Hi, you're with Chandeep at Gurli and let's take a look at the int, the int function in Excel. Now the int function is also known as the integer function. Uh, it's just the short form of that. The integer function will round the number down to the nearest integer. Let's take an example as how this works. So I'm going to write equals to int and this is asking me for just one input which is a number. I'm going to pick up this number, close the bracket. Now this number will be rounded down to 20 because 20 is the next integer, next smallest integer. So I'm going to drag it down and you will see that all of these numbers are rounded down to the next smallest integer. Let me just give you a more practical example. So let's say we have number of hours somebody has worked. So if somebody has worked for 26 hours, that means that they have worked for one day and two hours. If somebody has worked for 54 hours, that means they have worked for um, two days and six hours. So how can you find the completed days here? So that if you have 26 here, this shows up one. If you have 54 here, this shows up two. If you have 78 here, this shows up three. So I'm going to write the int function for that. But let me just do a bit of calculation first. So what I'm going to do is take this total number of hours and divide this by 24. And this is going to give me the uh, days in decimals because we have some hours extra as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this calculation in the int function. Now the int function will push the number down to the nearest integer and you can see that you can now get the completed days, right? So that was the int function. It just pushes down the number to the nearest integer. The next thing that we have is the mod function, right? The mod function is going to give you the remainder. Let's say, for example, we have some numbers here. And if you divide 65 by 10, you get a remainder of 5 right so if you just say equals to 65 by 10 you're going to get 6.5 but actually this leaves 5 as a remainder but you don't get 5 here you get 6.5 this is the quotient right so how can you actually get the remainder so the mod function helps you get the remainder so i'm going to say equals to mod pick up this number and my divisor is 10 i close the bracket two things number and the divisor and you get five here. And if you drag it down to the rest of the cells, you will only get the remainder. Now this is nothing but remainder. All right, let's take a look at another example. So let's say the same example that we discussed in the int function. So we have 26 days here. The number of completed days are one, but we also want to get the remainder. So what I'm going to do is take the mod function and my number is this and my divisor is 24 because in one day you have 24 hours and this is going to give me that how many hours are left after the completed days right so simple enough all you have to do is pick up the total number of hours divide that by 24 because you have 24 hours in a day and this is going to give me that how many remaining hours do you have in excess over your completed days so that was the mod function. Mod gives you the remainder. The int pushes the number down to the nearest multiple. Thank you so much for watching this. You can follow us on Facebook or on Twitter. And you can also read our blogs at gurli.co.in. And you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.